Have you ever wondered why someone would ever kidnap another human being? Or what emotions could one possibly experience to do such a thing? Perhaps you've watched endless crime shows and thriller movies and thought, I could negotiate with a criminal. Let's dive deeper into this and see if you fully understand what it takes. Hostage situations are defined as an incident in which a perpetrator holds one or more persons against their will in a location known to the police. They are as old as recorded time and can be traced back to biblical times. Detective Harvey Schlossberg, who worked for the New York Police Department, is credited for modern hostage negotiation principles. With the help of others, he introduced many psychological principles into policing, incorporating principles of conflict and dispute resolution. Core concepts of negotiation theory include utilizing specific strategies to accomplish the goal of a safe, non-violent, and peaceful diffusal of the situation. These strategies derive from active listening, consisting of paraphrasing, emotional labeling, open-ended questions, effective pausing, and minimal encouragement. Using these skills in the early stages of negotiation has proved to be a critical factor in the resolution of the hostage situation. Someone that takes one or more people hostage may have many underlying motivations. These include, but are not limited to, political extremism, money and mental illness. Political extremism can be used in an attempt to guarantee immediate media coverage and publicity for their cause and or group. An example of this would be the Sydney Link Cafe siege or part of the Mumbai attacks in the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel. There are situations where individuals take someone hostage for ransom money, and this money could be used to fund terrorism and many other crimes. If one demands money and has taken someone hostage, they are actually more likely to succeed in gaining said money. The unpredictability of some mental illnesses make mentally ill people a very dangerous hostage taker. Schizophrenia, paranoia and depression can all affect someone to cause them to suffer from hallucinations or delusional beliefs, and attempt to satisfy a need by taking a hostage. Emotions are short-lived, feeling, purposeful, expressive, bodily reactions that help us adapt to the opportunities and challenges we face during important life events. They are very powerful and therefore have the ability to impact someone. Emotions such as jealousy, anger, sadness or frustration can find themselves playing a part in a hostage situation. Sadness and jealousy may be leading emotions in a situation where someone has taken a spouse hostage as a result of rejection. Anger may be very prominent in a politically motivated hostage situation. One of the main goals of hostage negotiation is to decrease the heightened emotions of the perpetrator and in turn allow for rationality. They must also ensure that they are working towards and endorsing a positive emotion to promote a positive outcome. Considering how compelling motivations and emotions are, a hostage negotiator must understand the motivations and emotions behind the hostage taker in these high intensity situations, and therefore have increased chances of achieving the greatest outcome, and can design an empathetic and meticulous approach to ensure a desirable outcome. And in the eyes of the law, this is one of safety and protection.